Meghan Markle and Prince Harry find themselves embroiled in a heated controversy as a petition bearing 2,000 signatures from German taxpayers has prompted their withdrawal from the prestigious Invictus Games. The incident casts a shadow on Meghan, with accusations of attempting to overshadow Prince Harry's involvement in the event. Numerous sightings show Meghan avidly participating in sporting events while her husband is often mobbed by adoring fans, leaving Harry seemingly sidelined. During an interview on GB News, Andrew Pierce made startling allegations, suggesting that Meghan deliberately pushed Harry aside before delivering her speech. He expressed his disapproval, stating, she's there, and she's trying to upstage him. Pierce went on to describe the moment when Meghan took the microphone from Harry as an act of self-aggrandizement, declaring, I can't stand Meghan, I've got to be honest, she's a menace. This controversy escalated when Lady C disclosed in a recent video that German taxpayers were vehemently protesting against funding Harry and Meghan's extravagant demands. The petition with 2,000 signatures serves as an expression of their frustration, demanding that Germany address the issue transparently. Failure to do so may convey a sense of acquiescence to the Sussex's demands, which would be misleading. According to reports from Germany, there is a growing sentiment that Harry has lost his charm and that public interest in him has waned. During Harry's Invictus game speech, the atmosphere took a summer turn when he mentioned Meghan's Nigerian heritage, causing an awkward silence in the crowd. Furthermore, Harry's attempt to overshadow Mike Tyndall's podcast was met with criticism. Surprisingly, neither Harry nor Meghan has been prominently featured in German media, even in the gossip columns, leading to speculation that the Invictus Games are virtually non-existent in their coverage. This stands in stark contrast to King Charles's recent state visit to Germany, which received extensive media attention. Strangely, a Google image search for Invictus Games predominantly returns pictures of either Harry or Meghan, often together eclipsing other media outlets like the Daily Mail. Regrettably, there are few images depicting the veterans in action, leading to concerns about the event's public relations. Maiden's penchant for camera attention is noticeable as she frequently gravitates toward any camera pointed in her direction. Both she and Harry appear overly conscious of their public displays of affection, giving the impression of rehearsed behavior. It appears they are unaware of how poorly this reflects on them. The Invictus Games should center on celebrating veterans and sportsmanship rather than the Harkles. The challenge facing Harry and Meghan lies in the growing number of people who despise their perceived selfishness and greed. This groundswell of discontentment poses a risk to any future money-making endeavors they may pursue as they will likely face public scrutiny. Their self-promotion strategies may backfire, given the public's resentment toward their actions. If Meghan ever ventures into vlogging or promotes products on a modest Instagram account, she can expect an outpouring of complaints from the public. It won't be limited to her account alone. Businesses seeking to collaborate with her will likely face similar backlash. Notably, Dyer had to swiftly deny any involvement with Meghan after she indirectly hinted at a lucrative deal. Other businesses considering partnerships with the couple may meet the same fate, as public sentiment remains critical of their actions.